Hey guys, RoboGappy here with another great tutorial. Today we'll be discussing sensors and conditional statements. So what are sensors? Sensors are a part of what makes a robot a robot. A robot uses sensors to gather information about their environment so that they can react to their surroundings. The XIQ robots use five different types of sensors, which are the touch LED sensor, the gyro sensor, the distance sensor, the color sensor, and the bumper sensor. Today we will be discussing the bumper sensor. So let's open up Robot C and navigate to our sample kits. Let's open the waitforbump.c sample code, located in the VexIQ bumper switch sensor sample folder. Now let's go over each line of code. Always remember that the first line of code is hashtag pragma, followed by config, open parentheses standard model, comma, open quotation VexIQ clawbot, close quotation, close parentheses, which is telling the compiler which robot you are using. Line 2 through 13 are comments explaining that the sample program will make your robot move forward until the bumper sensor is pressed. Line 15 is your task main. Remember that your task main is the main function that the compiler executes first in Robot C. The first line within task main is line 17. Line 17 is your while loop. A while loop is a conditional statement. A conditional statements are a set of rules that are done but only if a certain condition is met or until a certain condition is met. A conditional statement can be a loop or an if statement. Your while loop is saying that while the bumper value using the bumper switch equals to zero, it will repeatedly do the next commands. The bumper switch being set to zero means that the bumper switch has not been pressed. Line 19 and 20 are setting the right and left motor speed at 50 and we'll keep doing that until the value of the bumper switch equals to 1, which means that the bumper has been pressed. Now, let's compile and download this sample code to your robot. After you have compiled and downloaded the sample code onto the robot, go ahead and sign into CS2N. Once you're logged into CS2N, you'll need to change your robot, so navigate your mouse to the Robots tab. Then click on the Clawbot IQ Arm Up robot. Now you want to click on the blue tab called Sensors. Click on the Move Until Touch Challenge, then click the Start Challenge button. Once you're in the virtual world, click Play to see the simulation. Your robot should keep moving forward until the bumper sensor is pressed from the box. Yay, we did it! If you run into any issues, let me know in the comments so I can try to help you. So today you guys have learned about the bumper sensor and conditional statements. In my next tutorial, we will be learning about the color sensor. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and write in the comments to let me know how I did. And always follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Google+. And remember, girls can be engineers too. Bye!